What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. We have an awesome episode for you today. We've got a Kong 2650C601 that hits the dyno. We give you an update on this truck. I know you guys were asking for more Silverado content. We will get to more of that, but this ended up being a little bit more of a hassle than we originally stated. Then we also have a six gen Z01 that hits the dyno. We did a cam, lower, and meth, and it picks up a lot of power. But enough of me talking, let's get it started. end and then everything else is done yeah just like the um brandon brooks kid that we did from michigan the black one with 2650 yeah same thing and like um nathaniel's the last one we yep. did but no this has a 2650 his was stock blower yeah, the black one had 2650 correct that was a year i think runs good i mean it's got two 2650 he does. C7 with a 2650 and this with a 2650. This one will destroy his other one, by the way. Wow, yeah. Even if they made the same power, these things are just... Oh, that thing made more? That thing made 11 something, I thought, didn't yeah, it? I think so. Or close to it? Uh, this will still be good. Sure will. C6 ZR1, rule all Corvettes. What you said? They do. No timing in it either, I just put a few in it. This thing like sounds weird. Because it's a the B&B, they always do. Yeah. further that time as you see the wide band came out you can probably see it on that pool that's what it looks like what happens it's coming out came back in and then came out but obviously the air fuel is fine Stock. We've been selling them a lot online. We've been selling, obviously, doing them in all of our cars. We're needing a, needing a bunch of them. We need a, need a wire going. Some cuts. Billy uh, transmission. <laughs> that was kind of heavy. Damn. Yeah. All of the cams. You get like that effect now. That effect where you like, you know. Oh, that. Okay. 
Okay, well, I get walking, I guess. That's B3. Eric Johansson. Do you spell it with a K? Okay. I think that's like the Slavic. What are, what are those countries called? Like Sweden, Switzerland, um, Nordic. What are you saying about Finland? Finland. All those Nordic what, countries. Eric with a K? Yeah. This thing's a little dirty. Yeah, it's filthy. I don't know what the hell is leaking on there. I thought it was part of the fuel or something, but it's, it's not. Yeah, it's like hardened, whatever. It almost looks reddish, like, um, I don't know. Definitely not oil. You don't feel think it. so? I don't want to feel Tar as a rock. It doesn't even do anything. Oh, it's like oh. gummy. It could be fuel. Huh. Like it just got under there. So we're waiting on some stuff from the truck. There's actually some more stuff uh, wrong with it. But Kyle has his next project. Indeed. That's Cam? That's Cam. That's what I know so far. And muffler mod. Oh, okay. You haven't done one, have you? I have not. Matt's going to show me that. Yeah. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, sweet. Yeah. It's okay. So if you guys haven't seen, we did a whole video about a muffler mod to show you pretty much how to do it. Basically just covers up the perforated part for the exhaust so there's less going into the muffler on the, so on the loud mode it's louder it sounds good I like it it's a good way to keep NPP but also get a little bit more loud than stock I mean I don't think NPP sounds bad at all no I love I, it I, I love that controllability I would never take it off so on the truck, um, let me. I gotta take some pictures and stuff on that. That's a friggin' nightmare. Yeah. What else ended up being wrong with it? So uh, once I got the um, actual shaft out, you can see the reason that why the seal was pushed out was because of the um, bearing, the actual bearing, just literally split the two pieces, and all the rollers were wearing into the tube itself. Yeah. So, the tube itself is severely grooved and just destroyed. And so, and that's what pushed the bearing, the uh, seal out, because... So we found out later, and we even said it, so we said, hey, this must have gotten in an accident or, or hit. I don't know how I didn't hear this. Apparently he wasn't complaining about it. So, the rollers that go in here were gro are now grooving into the tube itself. Got it. And pushing this out and this pushed the seal out which caused the leak so but now the damage is done and the tube is destroyed it's completely destroyed here. so what we found out was after asking the customer hey was this ever in an accident he's like no wait two years ago some guy like backed into my wheel oh my god so at this point he's like well i can't really go after insurance at this point and, and it, he has an extended warranty but we got to we got to do some work on it. So we're gonna do the work on it. Take some pictures. Take some pictures of it, and then he can hopefully use that for the extended warranty. Yeah. Right. Whatever happens, I don't like. I don't know how it wasn't noisy. Like it had to have been noisy. Unless you thought it was tire noise because it's got the yeah, tires on. I don't know. But. But let me know before you do that stuff because I gotta take some more pictures. I gotta get like the odometer and some other stuff for it. Yeah, well, I mean, you can take pictures of the, end of the tube now. Okay. You can see how the story did. You get like a light in there. Yeah. See, uh, but I'll I'm do just it after this thing. It's kinda, just before you get it back together. Sit and duck until whatever gets figured out. Yeah. What gonna do with it. Okay. Damn it. Go fall. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. 6 Gen ZL1, essentially our stage four. We didn't do the one through three, I will call. Uh, another shot to the headers, port blower pulley, other stuff. We basically did a cam, full cam kit, balancer, meth, and we did the TCM. Oh, they didn't do the trans and stuff? No. And we installed a expansion tank. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's right. Of course, uh, 
Yeah, this one on the uh, baseline was not very impressive. Whoever did it before. It didn't, would it make power? Like, not a lot. Like, intake header power. Six or something. Actually, still pretty good on it now, but so I'm pumping math, so it yeah. will be. So obviously we did a lower, which would bump the boost up, but we also did a cam, which bumps the boost down. But there's only a one pound difference between. So I think we did a 14, yeah, 14 percent lower. Yep. So it was making 13 when it came in. Now it's only making. But to be picking up the power it is off of only one pound is killer. Well, I mean, we do a lot of other things. No, no, I know. I mean, you <laughs> mess with the cam itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's all relative. It is what it is. Yeah. And that's the thing is a lot of people want to do a lot of mods without the cam. The boost is going to be a lot higher, but you're going to be making a lot less power. So. Well, the problem is you also need to cam for fuel. Correct. So you can only go so far without a cam. Yep. Not like in an LS motor, you don't need the cam for fuel. You need the cam for fuel in this. Yeah, you need to increase fuel load. So you guys might be wondering what else are we doing on this? We are also doing meth on this. Kyle finished up the clutch. Matt's gonna do the meth system. He's already working on it right now. 
Obviously you have to use a different intake pipe for the blower, so this one has bungs welded to it that will allow us to drill, or not drill, screw in the meth nozzles. He's already got the tank, cubby tank mounted because this is a base model, so you can do that. Super stealth. Very stealthy. So clutch and meth. Clutch is obviously already done, and then that's the meth system now. Give you an under the hood shot. CR1. Valley? Uh, it's the same one, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, it cleaned up really nice. Yeah, because of these, we don't swap out the lifters or anything. That is a non DOD yeah. Valley belt. It's super car, don't need gas mileage. Yeah. I love that people are always like, oh, well, what kind of gas miles is it there? Like, you're asking the wrong <laughs> question if you were trying to go fast or add power. If you want something that gets good gas miles, buy a freaking Prius or a Tesla. Yeah, seriously. Well, they don't have any gas mileage, it's electric. Like, dude, go. honestly, the best is like a old diesel golf they get like 50 miles to the gallon on a diesel and it, dude they're like, so uh, awesome Clyde had one of them things. did he yeah they're the best they're indestructible yeah, he drove from like here to Georgia on like one tank of gas easy yeah. easy 40 50 miles per gallon yeah. up the freshly ported and milled car. Fresh. They are fresh. Stock heads, but ported and milled from Frankenstein. Hey, Frank, watch you. All right, tell me to be right there. Fresh boy. They are fresh. Now, as we mentioned before, stock heads do flow great, but if you are trying to go for max effort everything, Obviously, you can do it. Uh, look good, though. Do look good. 